Hey guys, this is Leah with Scott Leroy Marketing. In today's tip video, I'm going to show you how you can find your forms in DocuSign and pull them into your DocuSign room to get that electronically signed and edit those forms. Now, with that being said, if uh, you have not started a transaction, that does need to be started from command specifically. Right? And I'll include a, um, a short little video on an overview on how to do a transaction in command with DocuSign. So check that out on the YouTube description. If you have not already started a transaction, that would be better for you in this case. However, if you have the room already created, you can go to real estate dot docusign.com to log in to view that. Okay, so just to overview, you're not going to docusign.com to log in. Instead, you need to go to the real estate, real estate side, which is realestate.docusign.com. So you can always go there to log into DocuSign if you have that DocuSign room already created. If you have not created this transaction yet, that needs to start from command specifically in order for that to work properly. So again, if that's more your situation, check out the video in the description of the YouTube video below. All right, but now that I am in my DocuSign room, all right, so one thing I do wanna show you, so I'm in my DocuSign room, so I would go ahead and get there and stay there if you are there. All right, but I do want to show you in my docs. This is a question that we get all the time. It's very natural to just go over to my docs to make sure that you have all your forms here. However, that can get a little confusing. I just want to show you why real quick. So if you are looking at the my docs section, you can click on the forms to see all the forms that you have access to. But just a heads up, this is a preview. So if you click on any of these, right, so these are folders, and these folders are added in by my office staff, so your folders will not be the same. I'm in a North Carolina Market Center, so that's why. And if I click on any of these forms, just a heads up, it will say sample. It's very big. Okay, and that's a little confusing. All right, so how to actually get the form so that you can edit it and so that it doesn't say sample is we need to actually pull that into your DocuSign room. So the My Docs section doesn't do you a whole lot of good in that respect. Okay, so let's navigate on over to, you can either click on your dashboard and that'll show you your recent rooms, okay, or you can click on the Rooms option on the top to view all of those rooms. So here we are. Here are all of my rooms. So I'll go ahead and pick one so I can show you guys this. All right, so I clicked on my DocuSign room. And I am now going to the document section of my DocuSign room to add in those forms. Okay, so where it says documents here, we'll see add on the top right. So add, and from add here, we have a couple options. So you can add uh, forms from your computer if you have that loaded on your computer, but in this case, we're trying to access our DocuSign forms. So these will be the interactive forms, the forms that you can just start typing in, the fillable forms, all right? So that's what DocuSign forms means. And now the, the next couple steps will look a little different for each person, so hold tight with me. Um, if you are seeing this box, great, hold tight for just a second. If you are instead seeing a pop-up that says something like, um, prompting you to enter your nerd's ID to be uh, for NAR, the Realtor Association. Okay, if you are being prompted to put in your nerd's ID, you can see if that applies to your association. It does not apply to all boards, so there's uh, certain uh, MLSs that you'll need to uh, link up your nerd's ID to DocuSign in order to access your forms. Others, you will not at all. So if you see your association from that drop-down list, go ahead and add your nerd's ID and pick your association to have access to your forms. If you are not sure if that applies to you, you can always click that little skip uh, the verification. I'm sorry, I forgot exactly what it says. A little blue link that basically says skip this verification. And you can always do that later. And I'll show you how you can add your nerd's ID to your DocuSign account in just a second. So feel free to skip that if you're not sure and it'll take you on over to your DocuSign forms where you'll find out for sure if you need to do that. Okay, so from this pop-up here, we have two drop-downs, as you see. The first drop-down, okay, and I have a library. So if I leave that set as library, I then have my two um, MLS board, or my board and my MLS, the um, libraries to pick the forms from. So if I select one of these, I have all the forms from that board or that MLS. Now, if I change the first drop-down to instead the DocuSign form groups, 
So depending on what you put in the first dropdown, it will change your options in the second dropdown. So now I'm seeing those form groups that I was seeing a minute ago, and these are again added in by your office staff. Right, so your list, your groups will be different, most likely. So I can go ahead and you know select which group I think that my form would be in. So if I'm looking for a listing form, I'll go ahead and select that group. I can search for the form I'm looking for, or the form name or the form number here, and simply click the check mark to go ahead and add that. You can add multiple at a time as well in that step. All right, so that's how we'll go about adding our interactive forms by clicking add and then the DocuSign forms option. Okay, and what we did, so if you click on this right here, it will open up and allow you to start editing the form so you can send that off immediately. Okay, so you can start editing the form right here. Go ahead and save those changes and then send it off for signatures by doing the DocuSign option. And this tip video is specifically on how to access your forms. So also in the description of this YouTube video, if you're now looking to get this electronically signed, which would make complete sense in the step of the process, I'll start the video on this exact moment um, in the YouTube, or I'm sorry, in the description below. So you can simply just click on that and then continue on learning how to send this off for signatures, okay? But for the rest of this tip video, I'm gonna show you now how you can uh, link up your Nerds ID and Zip Forms to access your forms through DocuSign that way. But again, if you are instead wanting to send this form off for electronic signatures, check out the video in the description. I'll start it on this exact moment so you can just continue on watching. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show you guys real quick is if you are not seeing your forms there, right, if you were not able to pick from groups or your library, let me show you how to add your Nerds ID or Zip Forms account to your DocuSign so that you have access to all of your forms. And again, this process varies slightly depending on your MLS board and the state you're in. So that's why it's not an exact, you know, set of steps for everyone here. It'll be slightly different. Your office staff should be able to direct you a little better on, you know, which method you should take. If you feel lost, feel free to check in with them or email us, support at scottleroymarking.com. We'd, of course, be happy to help. All right, but from here, so now I'm going to go into my DocuSign account preferences to add in that Nerds ID in case you skipped it. So if you could go ahead and click on your headshot on the very top right of DocuSign, we are going into the preferences. Okay, so again, it's either your headshot or initials on the top right of your DocuSign account, and then we are going to Preferences from that dropdown. From there, okay, we're clicking on Integrations on the left-hand side. So Integrations here. And if I scroll down, we're going to start with the Nerds ID. Scroll down, here's the Nerds ID where you can go ahead and enter that in. So you can put in your Nerds ID here. You can even click here to find your Nerds ID. And you'll also need to put in your last name. And you'll need to validate it against your association. Um, so now, hey, these aren't alphabetized just to make your life really interesting. Scroll, you know, kind of skim through here, see if your association is on this list. Obviously, this is not every association around the country. So you can see there's only about 50 of them that require it. Um, so your association very well might not be on this list and might not require that. Just a heads up, that is very possible. However, if you're in South Carolina, I know Pennsylvania market centers require that. Um, those might be on this list, so check that out. And you can go ahead and save the changes. Of course, if you have any issues with this Nerds ID section, guys, feel free to email us, support at scottlorymarketing.com. We'd be more than happy to help you with that. I just will also want to point out that there is an option to connect your Zip Forms account. So if you did receive a Zip Forms account, I believe typically that would come from your MLS. So you can go ahead and link up the Zip Forms login and password and save the changes. Um, I've seen a lot of California market centers need that one. I know that's a little general on, you know, whether or not you need each one of those. Feel free to check in with your office staff. They'll know for sure for your area if there's anything further you need. All right, but if your documents are automatically loaded in your account, 
even better, right? Your office staff has already sent those forms to DocuSign, so those very well might already be in there, and you might not need to link up Zip Forms or Nerds at all. All right, guys, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us, support at scottleroymarketing.com. Feel free to put attention to my name, which is Leah, L-E-A-H, and I'd be ha more than happy to answer any DocuSign questions that you have or even help you troubleshoot your account. All right, guys, I hope this helped, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Feel free to check out the videos in the description here for further info on this tip video.